He's a ripped off my arm. That's be in it. In a rush to leave base, number 18 Jerome has misplaced his armband. It has to be on the seat, innit? Get out! Everyone out! Get out! I'm 20, move! Move! Fuck, it's my shit, man. What's wrong with you, number 18? I've lost my band. Fucking go and find it. Hurry up! Move! Fuck, it's so shit, man. Now, if you lose a piece of equipment, you become a liability to your team. But not only that, you're giving the game away. Where's that piece of equipment going to lead the enemy? Number 18, fucking hurry up now! And the repercussion is, it's going to cost lives. Shit. Fucking hell. Isn't that? Is that in VW? Fucking joke, mate. The DS will now track each team's progress. Team one, they're not doing too badly. Team two, they are heading south. When they're already south of the RV. The DS have placed their informant, number four Jamie, alongside number 18 Jerome, to observe his behavior. When I was in prison, I just felt disappointed in, within myself. I said to myself, I need to fix up, I need to change my ways. I don't like to let anybody down, I take it hard. It's important to me. <laughs> yeah, what's your foot in here, Jerome? Oh, oh shit. Shit. Ah, little, little. Oh, ready? Oh. Nicely, no panic. Let's go. Oh, keep busy. Jerome, come on. I, I, I come back quick. I think I'll drop my torch. Just oh, mate. Just dropped his torch back there. Oh, shit. That man is just a liability. Number 18. Yes, yeah, staff. What we found. Now answer this question very, very carefully, number 18. Do you want that number back? Simple fucking question. Do you want your fucking number back? Yes, staff. You do want it back? Yes, staff. Right, the rest of you, go and grab a barrel and get back on the parade square. Number 18, come and grab your number. Put it on, stand in the middle of the parade square. <gasps> Hurry up, circle around number 18. Put your barrels in front of you. There's no easy way of building up a special forces operator. There's no shortcuts to it. Little thank you from number 18. Get the barrels above your fucking heads and keep them there. Stuff, I'm ready. What's that? I'm ready. Ready to what? Go. You ready to go home? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> I've got too much anger in me, I don't... Oh, Make a decision. Control that anger. We've done it before, we do it again, right? No one said stop! I'll pass you your number if it's too much for you. No one said stop! Control it, keep it on. Number two, number 23. How are they? They are strong. But actually, they're too close. You do need to get in between them. What will we get you to do? We'll throw the cat amongst the pigeons. Just stand by for that, okay? Yeah, okay, mate. In a remote location on the south of the island. Line up against the wall. The recruits will be matched by weight in hunter-hand -hand combat. Evenly matched, I would say. Being in the Special Forces, you have to be that professional soldier. Orders are orders. Do the job, regardless of what that is. Fight! Keep 
going! Stop! Stand up! Stand up! Jamie wins the fight. We've always been like each other's best friends, really. Get your gun shields. I think I'll naturally always, throughout her whole life, be protective of her. This is the most controlled, <sighs> brutal, harsh realities of what we do. It's a fucking horrible thing to do. Somebody needs to do it. Suck it up, number 23. Let's go. Follow the DS. Let's go, number 23. Suck it up. Let's go. Good. I worry about my sister quite a lot. I feel like I have to stand up for her. I know she doesn't need it, but I think I'll always just be like that now, just because of what she's gone through. It's OK. It's not about you. <laughs> Did I get a couple punches in at least? Yeah. yeah. You caught me on my neck. My neck went. Crazy. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's all right, man. It's, I'm fine. It's just it's something else. I got angry and you ripped into him. Well, I tried. I definitely landed a couple of punches at least. Yeah, you did. He wasn't. You weren't taking it there like a wallflower. You're doing really well. <laughs> It, it just it means a lot. <laughs> Fighting with a man was a trigger. Huge one, yeah. Because it brought back a lot of things for me that I've really not dealt with. Um, I've had, like, abusive relationships in the past, and I've never... I've never really fought back or... <laughs> I tried to stand up for myself, and that taught me that I could. You know, what you've got is exactly what the guys were talking about, what the DS said, which is controlled aggression. You hold your ground and you stand your ground. I tried to, yeah. You've done it today. <laughs> well, Jamie has been undercover since the course began. <sighs> Gathering intel on the recruits. Hey, right, guys, we've got two and a half minutes. Tonight, Jamie will quit the course and join the DS. This morning, he'll leave behind his helmet and be punished for his mistake when he returns to base. Everyone got their helmets? During the final few hours, I'm going to be asking myself, you know, who would I want in my team? Who would I want stood side by side going into battle? Who? Who? So is there any fucking excuse why someone has left that? But number four, get out of here. Look at me. Turn around. Face your fucking muckers. Number four, who are you close to on this course? Hurry up. So 23 stuff. Right, number 23, go and grab your fucking barrel. Move! Move! Get the barrel above your head. Say thank you, number four. Thank you, number four. Get it above your fucking head! Get it, say, get it above your head, shout! Get it above your head, 23. Get it above your head! <laughs> Tell us 
get it above her head. Get it above her head, 23. You haven't even had that out there fucking five minutes yet. It's not your fucking selves that suffer, it's your team members. <laughs> Don't. What are you doing, number four? What are you doing, number four? All right, number four, I'm going to give you one opportunity to come back and get this. Fuck's sake. Fucking anyone else want to follow him? I told you from the beginning that you will be exposed. That we will leave no stone unturned. And that we have eyes and ears everywhere. Let me introduce you to someone that you know as Jamie, but fucking no more. Jamie spent 15 years in the military, 10 years in the SAS, multiple tours of duty. He has fought all over the world with us. He is one of us. From now on, you will address him as staff at all times. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. We know absolutely everything about every single one of you. 